One of the things Mother Nature has in her toolbox is wind, and she is fickle with it. Sometimes she likes to drop that wind low and pick it up slow. Other times she puts the wind high in the air like she just don't care. But now, no matter where she puts the wind, there's an innovation that can capture it. Mankind has been trying to harness wind power for centuries, using everything from sails on ships to windmill farms to even that melon baller thingy you see spinning around. Now, innovator and MIT graduate Ben Glass has developed a buoyant airborne turbine, better known as the Bat. This turbine resembles a modern windmill, only it's surrounded by an inflatable shell that floats way up in the sky, capturing strong high-altitude winds. We all sort of have an intuitive understanding that the winds are stronger as you, as you get up higher, whether it's from flying a kite or being on the top of a mountain or a tall building. As the winds get stronger, the power available in the wind goes up quite quickly. Ben and his team at Alteros Energies had to figure out a way to put a big windmill high in the sky and keep it there. They researched the design of blimps and the weight load that they carry in the sky. They also realized the tether line used to keep the wind turbine from floating away could also transfer the power from the bat to a generator on the ground. The core technology is what we call a helium-filled inflatable shell. It's basically a ring wing that surrounds the turbine. It's filled with helium, which provides buoyant lift. So even when there aren't any winds blowing, the system will basically just float up there like a balloon. A lot of the design has been on the aerodynamic aspects of the inflatable shell, which begins to act more like a kite rather than a balloon. It allows it to function aloft in, in high winds without getting blown down to the ground or becoming unstable. The bat will hover up to 2,000 feet above ground on its own, automatically moving higher or lower to find the best winds. Floating wind turbines could help bring vital energy to the 300,000 remote communities around the world not connected to any type of power grid. But is the bat safe for airborne wildlife and humans buzzing around in airplanes? The turbine is actually surrounded by this big inflatable structure. The birds can see it and avoid it, so they won't fly into the region with the blades, and that makes it a lot more friendly for birds and bats and other avian life. There are lighting requirements and visibility requirements, and there will be a transponder so that general aviation aircraft will know where it is. The first commercial test is currently underway in Alaska, and the bat is getting lots of interest from developing nations. In the near future, you might see a floating wind turbine hovering over the shopping mall, keeping the lights on for that midnight sale. <laughs>